Paul Pogba has done a sit-down interview with Kave of Sky Sports and what an interesting interview, mostly based around obviously his doping ban, which has now been reduced by quite a significant amount. But there were a few questions in there about Manchester United and a few managers who Paul Pogba has worked on. And obviously, the biggest question is, would we see him return to the Premier League? And I'll ask that of you from the beginning. Would you like to see Paul Pogba return to the Premier League and more so return to Manchester United? I'll give my answer at the end of this video, but let's get into it. Welcome to the Red Devils Den. Paul Pogba making waves again like he always does. This time, it's kind of a good thing. Obviously, we know his doping ban has been reduced. He did a sit down with Sky Sports, ton of people doing sit down with Sky Sports these days. I don't know why that is. But anyway, he did that. He was asked some extremely interesting questions about his time at Manchester United, his time in football, and where to next. I'll start with the most uninteresting stuff and build up to the most interesting stuff. Obviously, he was asked about, is it the truth? Did he do those illegal substances? Did he take it? He obviously explained that he was unaware of what was in the substance he was taking. He was advised by a professional that he could take this. Obviously, he was not allowed to take it. They proved that he was unaware. They proved that he was not at fault for it. And obviously, the ban was reduced. He was then asked, what is happening at the moment with him and Juventus? Is he going to play for them? Are they going to ask him to leave? He says at the moment, he's just looking forward to training with players. He's obviously been training on his own for a very long time and he just loved to get on back on the pitch. He said whatever happens with Juventus, he doesn't know. You'll have to see come next season if he is a part of the project or if he's not a part of the project and then we'll have to see what happens. He was then asked about Manchester United and I'll speak about Jose Mourinho first because obviously Mourinho is always a controversial figure and we know the relationship between Paul Pogba and Jose Mourinho was very interesting. Paul Pogba called their relationship like boyfriend and girlfriend because they would break up then make up, break up then make up um, and he says that he has the utmost respect for Jose Mourinho. If he were to see Jose Mourinho now, he would hug him they would have a good conversation and then they would speak about what went wrong at their time at Manchester United. And I think this is always an interesting one. No one will ever forget that Jose Mourinho called Paul Pogba a virus. <laughs> no one will ever forget the footage from the training ground uh, where they clearly were not happy with each other. According to Paul Pogba, there is a mutual respect between the two of them. And their relationship could be simply described as boyfriend and girlfriend. They were in a very interesting relationship where they'd get in an argument, break up, fight about it, get back together, make up. Um, remember, Paul Pogba also said that Jose Mourinho was the reason that he joined Man United, that he came back. Mourinho called him and really convinced him, saying the project is a serious project and we could use you here. And that's why he came back. So Mourinho was a huge factor. In Paul Pogba's second coming to Manchester United, obviously it was a massive fee. But according to him, they are they have a mutual respect for each other. And if he sees Mourinho, he would hug him, which is pretty, pretty interesting. But yeah, it was that was his part of Mourinho. He then goes on to say that his best time at United came when Mourinho left and when Oli Gunnar Solskjaer came in. Now remember, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer came in after United were pretty much on the floor, the morale was on the ground, Mourinho was pretty much slating the whole club, he was slating players, including Paul Pogba. So when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came in, obviously it was a breath of fresh air, wasn't it? He put his arm around the shoulder of many players, it looks like one of those players with Paul Pogba as well. Remember we went on that 11 game winning streak when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer just came in, and according to Paul Pogba, his best season at United was under on a, on, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and it possibly was. We had some very good victories. We had some very good games. Paul Pogba was extremely involved um, and an integral player of that midfield with Bruno Fernandes and Nemanja Matic when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was involved. And Paul Pogba, I think, is a player who, very similarly, similar to a player like probably Jadon Sancho, who really needs a good environment to flourish. Look at when he goes to, when he went to Juventus the first time, when he plays for the French team, 
pretty much like Jane and Sancho when he goes to Borussia Dortmund or when he was involved in the English team. I think Paul Pogba is a similar player where he just brings such a good energy and he needs good energy around him. And then you see the best of because Paul Pogba is a monster. We all know he can take players on. He's quick. He's strong. He's got the passing ability of possibly one of the best passers to ever play the game. So I think we all know that he is good on his day, but his day didn't obviously happen as often at Man United. And that I think is partially down to the environment set at Manchester United. And I think it could be viewed as very um, sometimes toxic. Some people use the word toxic. Sometimes could be viewed as a very negative um, environment. And maybe that's why Paul Pogba didn't maybe do too well at Man United. Then he also spoke about the Wayne Rooney incident. Now, remember a couple of years back, Man United came off a loss. Um, I don't want to talk about that too much. But according to Wayne Rooney, Jesse Lingard and Paul Pogba, after that loss in the changing room, they were dancing and having a good time. And it seemed like it didn't really bother them that Man United had lost. And Wayne Rooney questioned their mentality and questioned whether or not they actually really wanted to play for Man United. Now, Paul Pogba spoke about this in that interview as well, and he mentioned that this was taken completely out of context. That was happening before the game had even started, according to him. According to him, that did not happen after the game, but it happened before the game started. So I'm assuming there's some sort of beef between Wayne Rooney and Paul Pogba. I don't know. Is Wayne Rooney going to go on the overlap and speak out again about what Paul Pogba has said, but they felt the need to speak about that. The Wayne Rooney incident, um, obviously there were so many things that happened during Paul Pogba's um, second stint at Manchester United. Obviously he came back for a huge amount of money, uh, which was sanctioned by Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho really wanted Paul Pogba to come, and he got him over the line. He got him to come. And I think everyone always looks back on a player like Paul Pogba and says, did we miss out on him? Did we miss out on a world beater, um, a multiple Serie A winner, a World Cup winner? Did we miss out on seeing his best easy? Does he still have more to come? And did Man United just mess it up because we weren't, a club was not ready for him possibly? We didn't set up the right um, tools around him. I don't know what that is, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Obviously, if you enjoy the content, remember to hit that subscribe button and a like on that video. I will now let you know what I think Paul Pogba should do and whether or not I think he should come back to the Premier League and more so come back to Manchester United. Now, I think that Paul Pogba unfortunately does not fit with what the Enios structure is at the moment. And notice what I say, the Enios structure. I'm not saying he doesn't fit with Manchester United. I'm saying he does not fit under the structure that Enios are trying to do. And I mean that by age, wage, uh, transfer fee probably. And the thing that is the most interesting part is that at the moment, Man United are trying to play a position-based type of football. We're trying to play out from the back. And do we necessarily have the technicians of the stature of someone like Paul Pogba? In my honest opinion, I do not think we have technicians who can play the ball, who can hold onto the ball, who can carry the ball, and who can play Hollywood passes. We don't have someone like that. So in my honest opinion, I would take Paul Pogba back at Manchester United. I would take him back. He was obviously asked in the interview, would he come back to the Premier League? And he said he wants to just play on a pitch. Whatever country that is, whatever team that is, he wants to just play football. He wants to get back on the pitch. So he's not ruled out returning to England. I would not want to see him at any other club other than Man United, though. What if he goes to like a Chelsea or a Arsenal? Um and tears it up. What if he goes to Newcastle? What if he goes to Newcastle United or Aston Villa? Um, if Paul Pogba does come back to the Premier League, I want him to come back to Man United. But that's why I would take him back. I take him back because he's an absolute technician on the ball. He looks after the ball so well, can obviously play position-based football, can still hit the Hollywood pass. And I do actually think that he would have a lot to offer. But like I said, under the structure right now, it's completely impossible. I don't think he'll ever come back. 
um, to Man United. And I think we have to move past that. But an extremely interesting interview. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on Paul Pogba being back at football, being back to playing football very, very soon. Will he stay at Juventus? Will he return to the Premier League? Will he go somewhere else? Who knows what will happen? It's an interesting story to keep following. Remember to smash a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one.